Here are some of the tools you'd like to take to the field if you could. We have four, or three sieves right here. This is the number four sieve. That's the separate gravels on top and uh, sands passing through. Then we have our number 40 sieve, which is what's used for uh, the Atterberg. It's an, a, but anything above number 40 is uh, coarse sand. Anything below that is a fine uh, sand uh, correction. That, that marks the boundary between medium uh, size sand and fine grain. But if you look real closely, uh, you can see through the number 40. You can't quite see the, the openings in this sieve, but they're basically the size of a, uh, when you take a sugar and you look at those grains, that's about the size of uh, these openings. So a number 40 sieve is also uh, 0.425 millimeters or 425 microns. The pencils that you use oftentimes are half a millimeter. So basically just use your half a millimeter pencil as a guide or think of uh, sugar. If you think of salt, salt's actually a little bit bigger. It's about a millimeter. So think more like sugar. And this is the last one, the number 200 sieve. It's, a, it's actually 75 microns or 0 0.075 millimeter. No way you're gonna see that. You can see through it. You can't hardly see the grains of the actual openings in the sieve. That's because uh, the 200 sieve is the, that's the finest sand. But uh, by definition, the 200 sieve, you can't see those particles with the naked eye. So if they're sitting on top of the sieve, they're bigger than number 200. So they're actually probably passing through the number 100 sieves. So uh, if you can, you can see those grains with the naked eye or even with reading glasses. So that you would call those sand size. If you can't see the grains and they're going to be silts or clays.